when dealing with IFM images, you often have not only the topography, but additional layers. And the particular analysis uh, in Mountainscape is capable of using any channel available for detection and calculation. So let's uh, bring this studable. Um, let's uh, use the particle study. If we slightly go back to the 2D view, by the way, um, maybe changing the color palette, to something else, this one, you have the topography, but then you have additional information in the phase signal like that. And we will be using the phase signal to uh, detect um, particles. So in the particle study, you have this um, section here called layers. If we uh, select the detection layer, the phase signal, then the calculation layer, again, the phase signal, you see that on that layer, you on that channel, you have this uh, region here uh, with a, a, a low values in the phase signal and that's what we want to isolate to do so you can still use the threshold uh, operator let's make sure that we have not above but below and then we can fine-tune the threshold like that for instance okay to only uh, keep the smallest one uh like that then you you might notice that the z max is no longer in nanometers but it's the the value uh, that we retrieve from the phase signal so you can very easily use any channel available but uh, you can also perform detection uh, on the phase signal but the calculation on the height to see if there is a correlation between some topography uh, features on the surface and uh, information retrieved from the phase signal or any other signal, actually. So you see here uh, the outline of the region that we have highlighted using the phase signal, but you, you see them on the topography. And that's how you can perform correlation between topography, phase, topography, and addition forces, and so on.